What's up? It's your boy Dre. And uh, today, I basically want to talk about something that I, I feel like is the most important part of concealed carry, and that is basically the awareness aspect of it. Because I've noticed that, well, I, I, I'm self attentive. And um, when I first got into concealed carry, I figured that, you know, I give me a gun, I won't be, I won't be, say, as unsafe as I was before, but as I've paid more attention, that I feel like that if you go down the wrong path, you can get a, you can conceal yourself, you can conceal a weapon and carry it with you and be in more danger than you were before you were concealing because of that. I got this under control factor. You know, the more attentive you are, the more prepared you are. And uh, that's my that's my thing. Like you always want to stay sharp, stay on point, because you have seen dangers and you have unseen dangers. And I want I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna walk out of my room and I'm gonna walk back in my room. And I want you to see. I have a gun on me, but I want you to guess where. All right. <laughs> now looking at me, where do you think I have a gun on me at? Pocket inside the waist, uh, under my shoulder. Well, looking at myself on camera, I can't really see. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you this one, two, three. Now, that right there is called unseen danger. You know, I told you I had one gun, but would you have guessed I had two more? So that's so for that. With that being said, the fact that I could walk in the room and have three guns on me shows that there are always unseen dangers which means you may not be able to see it but you always need to be looking for it or the possibility of and that's basically the whole point of that you know i would never underestimate anybody but i want to make sure that i'm not overly confident like okay i got a gun everything's under control okay say you will concede carrying and you got one, you got you, you have your man can see a carry and you get into a shootout with me. And just say, for instance, we, we miss, just say we have a shit. I don't know, a 10 round, 20 round shootout. I mean, it's going, it goes past 15 rounds. You run out of ammunition and say, you only have one magazine. Shit. I got, I got two more. I got a pocket. I got a pocket pistol in the front and in the back. You know, now I'm not saying that I'd actually carry like that, but it's possible. You know, may not be probable, but if it's possible, then I believe that it could happen. And that's why, me personally, if I was, you know, of course, if you get a, if you start concealing, make sure that you don't fall off with your awareness because of the possibility of a greater danger. You know, like I said, I was walking around feeling like, hey, you know, damn, well, before I got my gun, I was like, yeah, I think I need to get something because I was alert. Then I got one and I started noticing that, you know, I don't really, I'm not as, what would I say? I'm not necessarily as paranoid as I once was because I have it, 
But then it got to the point where I was like, you know, I got this and I pay attention to less things. And I just started really thinking about it like, wow, that offset of awareness could have me in more vulnerable state than I was before I had a weapon. Because it's like if I'm paying attention to something and it brings me to a paranoid state, I'm actually prepared because I can feel like, okay, well, I know I don't got a gun, so I know I need to get the hell away from her. You know, but then at the same time, I, I fall in after I got my gun, I fell into a spot to where it's like if something happened to me, I, I got this, you know. So, I mean, and shit, I'm not trained, you know, I know how to shoot, but I'm not trained in battle. So, you know, that that's just things to think about. You never want to fall off on your your vision. You always want to stay focused you want to stay 100 percent on point you know just because you got it you know it's you always got to keep going like yeah i'm still i still see this there's a possibility of this you know i just feel like you know it what it doesn't just stop after you say you get your concealed license concealed carry license and you're carrying and it no everything doesn't just stop you know it's this we still in the real world and i just i just want to force that because i i feel like the alertness and awareness is the most important part of concealed carry and like i said you never know if somebody has a full size compact and what i mean no telling what they have on you know and then in the winter time it's even worse you know so like I said, stay 100% on point because for your, your seen and unseen dangers. And a lot of the times, dangers are unseen. So you should always just make sure, you know, me personally, when I'm out, I don't let people walk behind me. Like just say I go to a shopping mall, of course, not, not to the extent to where no one's ever behind me. But, you know, when you have those people. And they're walking, they're trying to get, you know, and they get this, you know, I let them go past, you know, I get over and let them go past, especially if they're walking at a pace that's faster than mine. Or, you know, you know, that's just one of my things, because I can't, when you're behind me, I don't know what you're doing. That's just how I feel. I, I can't, I can't see you from behind me. You know, that, that, uh, when you go into, uh, when you go into say, say if you stop in a gas station and you uh go inside, you want to get you maybe you getting some gas. You want to go inside get you a snack and a drink. I mean, shoot, you know how small that is. And you know since they are small, those are spots that will get hit. If someone's gonna get robbed, that's the spot they're gonna rob is something small that they can control, especially one person. So I sit up and look. And shoot, I make sure I have my, I will make sure that the way I'm facing, I be facing it. I be standing in line, but I be looking at the, at the door, you know, whatsoever. Or even when I'm in the back of the store, you know, just little things like that, you know. So just staying attentive is the most important part of uh, concealed carry. Because at the end of the day, the concept of concealed carry is the fact that you're trying to protect your life. And when you're trying to protect your life, there's no such thing as being too prepared. Too, there's no such thing as being too safe. You can be in too much danger. You can be too... You can be not pre prepared enough, but there's no such thing as being too prepared, too paranoid, too attentive. There's no such thing. You know, that will come from somebody who that'll come from somebody who probably trying to make themselves feel cool by saying, Oh yeah, you too paranoid. I'll tell you like this. When it maybe my life is worth more than yours. That's how I feel when someone says that to me. But make sure you stay on point.